Okay. Here we are in Minoria Village. We have to go to the inn. Let's go. Matron. Everyone. Miss Chloe. Is anyone hurt? We're okay. Thank goodness. I'm glad you're here. Is that Estelle and Joshua I see with you? Yes, since someone contacted the guild. We're investigating the incident and thought we'd stop by. I see. Thank you for taking the time. Investigating? You mean about the fire, right? Do you know who did it? Hmm. Well, how to put it. So, um, who's hungry? I missed breakfast, so I was thinking about getting some food. Good boys and girls who join me will get some sweet treats. That was close. I really wouldn't want the little kids to hear about this. Now, you were saying? Please tell me what you can. Thanks for your understanding. First, we checked out where the fire started. And it does appear that it was set deliberately. My suspicions were correct then. I've always been careful about fire. I suspected it might be something like that. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Whoever was responsible must have had some kind of motivation. We have no real money to speak of, nor has anyone ever borne a grudge against us. So it wasn't a robbery. It wasn't for revenge. We have to acknowledge the possibility that someone did it just for fun. Did you happen to notice anything unusual leading up to or during the incident? Any strange people hanging around the orphanage? Yes, actually. Not during the daylight when you were there, but afterward. Though I can't imagine he would do something like this. Who's he? While we were trying to escape from the burning building, the beams fell in and blocked our way through the entry hall. But then he showed up and helped us get free. We owed him our lives. Right after he helped us, he called the villagers over and left in the confusion. I asked the other villagers about him, but no one seemed to know anything. Sounds suspicious. What business would anyone have at the orphanage at such a late hour? Did you notice anything in particular about him? He was a man, maybe in his late twenties. He also had brilliant silver hair. Silver hair? He had a troubled look about him, though, that made him seem far older than he looked. He didn't strike me as a bad man. He sounds suspicious, but he did help you out. Doesn't sound like our guy to me. Joshua? What's with the goofy stare? Oh, it's nothing. Perhaps he was just a bracer who happened by. I think that we should disregard him as a suspect. Um... Okay. Pardon me. Oh, hi, Chloe. Where are the children? They're downstairs having some dessert. Matron Teresa, you have a guest. Oh. Mayor Dalmore. So the bracers I met yesterday are here as well. John's reputation for responding so quickly is well earned. It's good to see you again, Matron Teresa. After I heard what happened, I came over as quickly as I could. I'm glad that you're safe. Thank you, Mayor. It's very kind of you to come by. I know you're a very busy man. Nonsense. It is my responsibility to look after all areas of the region. More to the point, those who did this must not be allowed to get away with it. Joseph always loved that place. Such an atrocity. Allow me to express my most heartfelt condolences. Thank you. But I am sure that he would just be relieved that the children are alive and well. My sole regret is that all my mementos of him were lost of the fire. Matron Teresa. Tell me, Bracers. Have you any thoughts on who might have done this? We've only just begun our investigation. It's too early to say. It does look like it might have been done simply out of malice, though. I see. What a terrible thought. Pardon me, Mir. What is it? Do you think that those people might have had a hand in this? Whoa! 
Hold up. Who do you mean by those people? You encountered them yesterday, the ruffians down in the warehouse district of Ruan. Oh, them. Pardon my bluntness, but what makes you suspect them? They've been openly defying the mayor for quite some time now. They certainly seem to get their kicks out of just causing trouble for him. And since he and Matron Teresa are friends, it... Gilbert! Sir! Wild speculation does no one any good. This is a dire offense. We must have no false accusations. M my apology, sir. That was foolish of me. I think it would be best to let the bracers identify and locate the ones responsible. Can I count on your help? Sure. Leave it to us. We will devote our full attention to it, sir. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, Matron Teresa, I do have one question to ask. What is it? What do you plan to do with the orphanage now? Rebuilding will take time and not an inconsiderable amount of Mira to complete. Honestly, I'm at a loss. We have a modest reserve of Mira, but the cost will be phenomenal. Matron. I was afraid of that. Well, I have a proposal sort for you. At the Dalmore Estate in Grandcell, I have a villa. It's only used for special occasions, so... What say you to having the children stay there for a little while? And of course, charging rent would be particularly boorish of me. You'd be welcome to stay there for as long as the rebuilding process takes. But there's no need for you to shoulder the burden of our troubles. But the villa sits unused. If you have any misgivings, then I will grant you control of the grounds. Think of it as a well-deserved reward, if you will. Mayor. May I have some time to think it over? Your offer is most generous, but I can barely process it with everything going on. Perfectly understandable. You should get some rest. I must be off as well. If you decide to accept, please feel free to contact me. I will. Thank you so very much. Let's go, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Wow, that was a shock. He's certainly the generous type. On par with Mayor Maybell. Indeed. Particularly in light of his being a former noble. What do you intend to do in regard to the mayor's offer, matron? What do you think of the situation? Conventional wisdom dictates that you should accept it. However, once you've gone to Grandsell... Oh, never mind me. You were always such a thoughtful child. It's all right. I want you to give me your honest opinion. The herb garden and the people I care about would be gone. So, and with you and Joseph gone, I feel like all my good memories will fade away. I'm sorry. I'm just being stupid and selfish. I share your feelings. The orphanage is home to my memories of him, as well as the children's memories. But, though memories are precious, having a place to live is of the utmost importance. Yes, ma'am. I believe this will all be settled soon. Please, try to focus on tending to the campus festival for now. The children are really looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. I wish I could be more help, but I must leave the investigation in your hands. We will handle it, ma'am. We're going to take the culprit down. You can count on it. This sure has turned into a royal mess. Where should we start the search? Hmm. Something wrong? You look like something's bugging you. Oh, I'm sorry. My mind is just all over the place right now. I know how you feel. By the way, Joseph was Matron Teresa's husband, right? Yes. He died several years ago. But he meant a great deal to me as well. I see. Wait, does that mean you're from the orphanage too? No, nothing like that. He just did a huge favor for me a long time ago. We grew close again when I came to Ruan to attend the academy. Oh, I see. 
So, in other words, every time you came by to play, you ended up helping out. Like part of the family. Yes. He was like a father to me, but the shock I experienced was nothing compared to that of Matron and the other children. We managed somehow. Mary, what's gotten you in such a hurry? Clem's gone. You don't mean he left Minoria? Can you give us some more details? After that old man showed up, Clem went upstairs. In a couple of minutes, he came back down all red in the face saying, they're not getting away with this. I wonder who he meant. You don't suppose it's... Yes, I believe it was the Ravens. He probably overheard what the steward said. Oh no! I hope he's not planning to go and find them himself. It, it can't be. I can't allow this. I have to find him at once. We'll come with you. If we hurry, we might be able to catch him before he gets to Ruan. Don't you worry. I'll bring him back safely. You just look after the other children, alright? No sign of him on the way. You don't suppose he's already there? Come on. We'll check out that warehouse to the south. Damn. It's almost noon already? Clem! Stop! No! Clem, please wait! It's no use. I guess he can't hear you. Crap! Why does the bridge have to go up now of all times? It couldn't wait 30 minutes? Oh no. If we don't do something, what do we do? What can we do? Please, Chloe, try to calm down. You haven't forgotten what you told us about the bridge already, right? Now, how did people get across before the bridge was built? A boat! That's right. If I remember correctly, there's a boat you can rent behind the hotel. Alright, we'll use that then. Hmm? What do you want? Can we rent your boat? We need to get across as quickly as possible. Afraid not, that Duke fellow's already reserved it. Maybe come back later? Oh no. Please, won't you help us? There's a little boy in grave danger. Now, don't go shedding tears like that. You remind me of my granddaughter. And I don't like seeing her upset either. Well, all right. I suppose it can't hurt. Go ahead and hop on board. Thank you, sir. You're a lifesaver, mister. <laughs> I'll just tell that Duke fellow the boat's being repaired. Do you know how to handle a boat, boy? Yes, sir. I'll manage. Come on, both of you. This is the southernmost part of the warehouse district. Seek? Scree! Okay, I understand. Looks like he's gone as far in as you can go. Let's get a move on then. That's probably where we'll find the hideout. Don't you try to play dumb. I know it was you guys that did it. I'm not gonna let you get away with it. What's this little punk talking about? <laughs> this is no place for little kids. What the? What's the brat so mad about? I don't have a mom, you jerks. I have the matron. You don't get to make fun of her. <laughs> You've got a lot of attitude, punk. Maybe you need some discipline. Stop this! It's you. How can you be so cruel to a child like this? It's disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, no. Hey, Missy. Who are you to look down on us just because of your looks? Rich snob. How many braces do you think it'll take to beat us? 
Stand aside, Chloe. We'll buy you some time. Get the kid as far away from here as you can. No. Let me fight. Please. Huh? I really don't enjoy it. But I was taught how to use a sword. If it's to protect others. I think now is the right time. What? A self-defense rapier? Let the child go, please. Otherwise, I will force you to do so. Oh, wow. That's so hot. Get your minds out of the gutter and focus! You expect us to let this brat get away with mouthing off to us? We're the Ravens, and you need to learn not to mess with us. Oh boy! Oh my goodness gracious! She's got a lot of... Holy frickin'... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, y'all can just calm down now. Stop it! Kind of monsters. Even if she is a bracer, something weird about this chick. That was awesome, Miss Chloe. Nice going, Chloe. You must have learned the art of the sword from someone very skilled. No, I'm still just a novice. Fighting any longer would serve no purpose. Please, release the boy. It's you. We ain't gonna let you make fools of us and get away with it. Enough! Has it been so long that you've forgotten my voice? Maybe? Agache! You're here. <laughs> what are you doing here? And you know these guys? Rice. Yeah? What are you fools doing? Fighting with girls and beating up a little kid? Is that what it's come to? Y you shut up. You left us. So who are you to give us orders anymore? <laughs> you are saying? Uh, hey, Agate, take it easy. If it's about the kid, we'll let him go. See? Miss Chloe. Thank goodness you're all right now. You should have just done that from the start. What a bunch of mean jerks. Hey, kid. What? You've got some guts to come up here by your lonesome, but you've really pushing your luck. You shouldn't worry your mama like that. M Matron, why have you come here? I inquired at the guild as to what was going on and I was led here. Clem, really, you know better. Uh, I'm not apologizing this time. I'm gonna get those jerks who started the fire and... Clem? Matron Teresa, please don't scold him. That's not my intent. I understand how you feel, Clem. Believe me, I do. The house was important to everyone who lived there with you. To all of us. However, getting yourself killed will not bring it back. All that I want is for everyone to be safe. Nothing else matters. So please, don't put yourself in danger. Such a sucker for this stuff. Clem, I'm really glad he's okay. Jeez, women and kids, always the same. Hey, Bracer Kid, you should get the matron and Brad out of there. This is really no place for them. 
I don't mind, but what will you do, Agate? I've made up my mind. I'm gonna remind these idiots who runs things and why. I might need to crack a few skulls. No, please, take it easy on us. I see. I guess you'd prefer not being interrupted then. Thank you so very much. I wish I had the words to express my gratitude. You really don't need to thank us. We're just doing our jobs. Still, are you sure you don't want us to escort you back to Minoria? It's fine. The Gulf Seaside Way is like my backyard, after all. More importantly, I don't want to get Chloe in trouble at the school. No need to worry. I will accept full responsibility, Matron. Thank you, Chloe. But it's fine, really. I want you to focus on preparing for the campus festival. Yes, ma'am. Made it just in time. I brought back the boat. Thanks. Sorry for making you do that on your own. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a tough job. I owe you my gratitude as well, Joshua. Take care, everyone, if you'll pardon us. Oh, Miss Chloe, I can't wait to see the play. Great. I've been working hard on it, so I hope everyone will be there. You can count on it. See you later. Okay. I think that will be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And until then, stay tuned.